What's up guys, Mike Lewis here and welcome to the Mike Lewis Podcast. If you guys want to keep up with me on social media, you can follow me on Instagram at Mike Lewis Official and you can follow me on Twitter at Mike Lou 52 It's where most of my updates come. But if you're enjoying my content, give me a like and a subscribe. And without further ado, let's just dive right into this episode. Okay, Ruthie, thank you for coming on the show today and taking the time to do this. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for being patient with me while my vacation plans kept changing. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, we, we got matching shirts on, so. Yeah, we got, we got, I got my pineapple shirt on. Yeah, we I had, like yours. Uh, I like yours yeah, a lot. Yeah, we had to keep the trend going because when I had Is Kendall that the hibiscus? on. What's up? Is that the hibiscus on your shirt? Honestly, you would probably know better than me because I've never actually been to Hawaii, but it's, you know, we got... I, I, I kind of look... Well, no, it's not the hibiscus because it has a, cause the thing sticking out, but um, I don't know what that is, but it's a cool shirt. I like it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> can't go wrong. <laughs> but um, yeah, first off, congrats on making it back to the final. Thank it's, you. It's been a while for you, right? Oh, yeah. It's been a while. I, I made it to the final on my very first season of the challenge. And that was uh, Battles X is one. So <laughs> it's kind of crazy too because I think like you have such a reputation to you of being like such like a fearless like badass competitor. But when I was going down the list and I was looking at like you know everyone's stats and whatnot, like I found it so hard to believe when I got to your name and then I was like, okay, she won. And then I had to go back. I was like, wait, she hasn't won before. Like I feel like a common misconception. Most people would put you under the champ category. You know, yeah, obviously. I mean, I'm a, I'm a champ in my head. No, just kidding. <laughs> I actually just, I love to compete. And I remember my first challenge, I was uh, out shopping, you know, for stuff. And we were getting, back in the day, we used to get sponsored clothes and we could wear them. You could wear whatever you wanted. So then, like, you know, Skechers and all kinds of people were giving us stuff. And I was with Cyrus and Beth, and Cyrus was like, well, you should pack, you know, for three days. And I was like, what? Why? And he's like. Because, you know, it's your first one. You're not going to last. And I was like, why not? <laughs> Is that a thing? Um, and so, of course, when I got there, I was all like, I didn't, I didn't really know. Because I never watched the challenge, you know. And I was just like, what's going to happen, you know. And um, so every day, I was like, I got to win. I got to win. I got to win. <laughs> so <laughs> and I, love, I love competition. It's like when I went to college and everybody says, if you don't make it past the freshman year, you know, then you're never going to finish college. I'm like, I got to make it. My freshman year. So for me, that challenge was like my freshman year, you know? Your first and, one? Yeah, and I was like literally, like, I think the reason why people think that, you know, I'm as 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 good as I am is because I was beating most of the guys out on the challenges on the Battle Sexes one. And, um, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty like uh, agile and, you know, I mean, I, I can do a lot of things, you know? Um... And I'm not one of those crazy, like, CrossFit trainer people, you know? <laughs> but I, if you put me somewhere, and you, you know, especially, like, climbing ropes and just, you know, fun stuff, it's like, I get so excited. Um, and, you know, like, everybody always talks about the money, you know? Like, oh, my God, it's, like, all this money. And back then, 50000 was like, oh, my God, I just pay off my student loans, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and now it's like up to like five hundred thousand, a million dollars, and you're like, oh, um, to me that's like the bonus, you know. My yeah. motivation is to win because I just I love competing, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I guess everybody has their own motivations because like that's like the ultimate bonus, you know. But first, you gotta win, <laughs> and winning is so cool. Like uh, I was watching uh, the episode, and uh, you know, Derek was like, I just want to win one, you know, and. I completely understand how that feels. And for me, uh, you know, the truck challenge, I thought that was mine. And I freaking jumped and I didn't make it and it was, it was pretty much over. Um, and I was trying to get back up, but the carabiner that I had on me was like sticking like this. And I was like, son of a... <laughs> I was like <laughs> trying to get this off because, you know, and the, there's a big thing that because they, they strap you up, you know, because they have to like 
hold hold on to you know, the blayers and everything and that stupid metal thing I would could like I couldn't get back on the pillar because of it and I was trying to like you know do like this so I can like come out and then come up and it just wasn't working and that's why I looked so funny so I tried to get to the edge so I scooted all the way to the edge because I knew there was a hole when I first looked at it and I thought that that would help me and yeah it was too late so I was so so disappointed because I was like that was that was mine you know and so what, what they didn't show um, was after I got off, because we were asking people when they got off, and Hasela and Anissa wouldn't give us any, any tips. And Kellyanne comes up to me, and, and she's like, uh, is, how do I put my, you know, my, my helmet on, my goggles? And I, and I was like, who did this to you? And she said, Hasela. And I'm like, come here, girl. <laughs> and so I, I, I switched her, her thing around and I put it right on her and I actually trained Kellyanne before she went on. I tell I told her, because she thought that everybody told her it was scary. I'm like, it's not fucking scary, you know? It literally, I was like, this is what you do. You don't even notice the ground. All you notice is the pillars and all you do is jump. But on that last jump, when you're coming back, I said, don't do what I did. Wait, wait, and then jump, you know? So like I was, the, I, I, I was trying to help her and Kendall. Because even if I didn't win, I'd be happy if one of them did. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I'm not one of those people that's like, I don't know what happens. Yes, it's really scary. You know, like, I'm just not that kind of person, especially, you know, when it came to um, seeing Kellyanne's thing on backwards and everything. I was like, come here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who did this to you? <laughs> and so I fixed her up. And I told her like what it was, and I said it's not scary. Just do the jumps. Take your time though on that jump, and you'll do fine. And uh, then after she went, we were like, okay, now it's your turn, Kendall. You know, I'm like, do this. And then when she we, when she got back, I was like, what happened? And she said at one point she like you know was jumping, and then she sat on a pillar and just kind of like paused. And I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> were, were you enjoying the mountain views? Like, because <laughs> it was. After after I did that, I was like, "Fuck! If I can't get it, one of you got to get it," you know. And mm -hmm. when Kellyanne when Kellyanne did it, I was I was proud of her, you know. And uh, yeah, she doesn't she doesn't give me the credit, but I coached her. <laughs> <laughs> give you copyrights for it. <laughs> give you copyrights for her success. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, and and that's the thing. Like I know that we're all competitive. Yeah. But it's it's just like when I was on Battle of Sexes, like whenever I would do like, you know, really well and I would figure out the method to the madness, I'm telling my team, everyone, but there's a lot of girls that don't want to, you know, help other girls out because even if you're on a team, they kind of want to do better than everyone, which is fine because like, of course, I'm very competitive, but, you know, may the best person win, but let us all win. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, cause I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy, you know, women power. Yeah. <laughs> But no, we, t we just mentioned before, obviously, you know, we're currently watching this final unfold. It's kind of yeah. crazy that in less than a year, <laughs> we're sitting here in May 2021, and this thing really just came into motion. At first, it was kind of just an idea, and then it became a reality, oh, yeah. and then we see now your face is on the front cover in a billboard in New York <laughs> City. When, at what point did it become real for you that like, okay, this is really going to happen? Was it when you got the call or when, like, when did it really set in uh, for yeah, you? I got the call back? last year, you know, um, I was probably, I think I was probably one of the first people to get a call and, uh, while it was still an idea and, um, I had basically like in my mind retired from the challenges. I got asked a couple of times after the duel and I said no, cause after the duel I was, I was kind of like this this shit is messed up, you know, but, um, cause there's people that I was actually really good friends with, you know, that they'll do anything for, you know, some dollar bills. And I was like, and I, I was kind of miserable, you know, and, um, I love to compete, but at the same time I was like, do I want to put myself in that situation? So when I got the call for the, you know, um, the possible OG project, um, I was like, I think the reason why I did it, actually, I know the reason why I did it is because I had never won a final, even though I made it to a final. And, you know, um, it was always like in the back of my head, you know, especially somebody who loves competition and loves to compete. And not just that, but I can't tell you how many times like the, the fans kept asking me over the years, when are you going to come back? When are you going to come back? I did a challenge mania with Derek in New York City and I was shocked. 
at the support. People had like my old like books from the show and, and like, you know, all these memorabilia that I had forgotten about and they were like, can you sign this? And, and my friends that came was like shocked as well because you know, sometimes you don't know how much support is out there um, until you see it. And uh, when I mentioned on stage, like, that I, I'll think about coming back, um, this is back in 2019 when I went for the GLAAD Awards and I also did Challenge Mania at the same time. Um, and the crowd went nuts. So <laughs> I was like, man, you know, and I even said in one of my interviews, like, uh, I'm really doing a lot of this for the fans. And I know that it's past tense when they watch it, but I know how much they root for you when they watch it. Mm -hmm. And that makes that makes me feel so like, wow. And I think I think a lot of people forget that. You know, when you're actually out there and you're actually doing a competition, you kind of forget that people are, are going to be in front of their TVs like rooting you on, even though it's not in real time. And so... You know, it's kind of, you already have an audience and they're, they're not there yet, but they will be. And they truly, truly are some of the best fans, I think, in the world because, you know, they're awesome. Absolutely. It's actually like, it's kind of like almost in a way and like inspiring or admirable to see like how passionate like, you know, fans, yeah. like we've seen this called like the fifth sport, but like really in a way, yeah. like the fans. <laughs> The fans treat this the same way as if they would so, any other, like, professional you know, sport. Say, oh, that's easy. You know, some of my friends are like, oh, that, you know, and I'm like, you know, like, you think it's easy, you know, but, uh, you know, when you try it, <laughs> I'd like to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, a lot of this stuff for me is fun, you know. Like, I'm, pro I'm not probably one of the only people that wakes up in the morning, like, like I even said, like, it's like Christmas, so, like. What do you have for me? You know, like what? What am I going to open up? When I saw the ropes that day, I was, I was like, I was trying to hold in my excitement. You know, I was like, oh, what, what well, are we going to do with these ropes? The dual two challenge, right? Huh? It was a throwback for you from the uh, dual two, dual two challenge. Yeah, but the dual two, like we were like hanging, trying to get people off, and th these ropes were really thick. You know, at least the other ones you could actually like really hold on to. I still have the scars from the ropes. It was cut yeah. so deep, um, but I knew, I, I felt it burning, and uh, I just didn't even look down, because I was like, I, I'm going to finish this, like, I don't even care, I'll deal with that later, <laughs> <laughs> and we won, and it was worth it, and uh, it was the perfect combination of a team, uh, because, you know, Derek was, it was it was between Derek and Nehemiah to go first, and it was up to Derek, it was in his hands, if he beats Nehemiah, then 99% we got this you know what I mean yeah and uh no matter the drama like even you know with Anissa on my team like all of it like you're like my team now there's no drama at all and she did really really good um the only reason we, why she dropped is because like she was she was kind of like you know saying she couldn't do it but she probably could have but because of time wise it was a strategy and we're like just drop just drop you mm -hmm. know and that really helped because because if we waited for her to come back across, it would have, you know, hurt our, our, our time and our chances. So um, that was more of a strategy. Um, and then, yeah, we ended up winning. And the crazy thing is, like, I wanted the captain's seat so much while everybody was kind of like, I don't want it, you know? Yeah. And it's like they, they're, they're just kind of like, not it, you know? And I was like, it, <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> in my head, I just... I just, I never ever thought once that that my team would lose. Mm -hmm. It never crossed my mind except the first challenge, and I was still having hope. You know, when we were all drowning there, <laughs> those water boots were so like my kryptonite because when I would tread, it would just keep sinking me, and I was like, I'm gonna freaking drown. <laughs> and then the guy taking his time on the, you know. On the paddle boat, like you know, he. I was like, "Help!" <laughs> and I'm like, "He's not. She's not gonna make it." <laughs> um, so I asked if I could take my water shoes off, aka uh, drowning shoes, and they said I can't because if I do, I'm gonna get disqualified. Um, so uh, what I should have done is what Mark did, and his fell off in the water, and I was like, "Yeah, mine's could have fell off in the water," <laughs> you know. I should have just put them on and not strapped them and went in the water and oops. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reason I didn't go back in. I mean, yeah, it was cold, but 
to me, it wasn't about the cold for me. It was like, I can't, I can't with these boots. Um, and then the next challenge I got, like uh, the next one, they gave me like size nine and I'm like, okay, I have to talk to production. I'm like, listen, um, you gave me an eight the first time. And if you give me a nine and if it kind of matters, like in the water and stuff, like I would prefer eight at least, you know? <laughs> so I did nines for like the next couple and I was like, okay. Please, 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 no. <laughs> Get me eights. <laughs> Especially yeah. if it's like the final. <laughs> and this is like, like you know, way before the final. And I was like, and I was telling them, like, especially for the final, as if it was going to happen, you know? And the, and the other people are looking at me like, what are you talking about the final? Like, <laughs> we got way more to go. And I'm telling them size eight, especially for the final. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but it so happened. So there were no close calls for you after uh, Duel 2 at that point? Because obviously the game had been uh, changing for pretty after rapidly, I'd Duel say. Two, like, I just said no, you know? I was just like, I think it was like so devastating for me because um, I guess I was like, I don't know. I, I That particular one was like people that I was friends with outside of it. Mm -hmm. uh, looked me in my face and then completely did you know stuff so um of course you know I got over it but at the same time I'm like wow like you know like certain people showing up or whatever that um but that was like years ago you know right um but then of course I never got asked again after you know I said no two more times you know what I mean um but like I said for the OG project I was like yeah you know like in 2019, when I did that Challenge Mania, I realized, like, the fans really want it. And then when Mark did this OG project and it went viral and the fans were, you know, the, the huge reason behind it, obviously, you know, and Mark was, like, you know, the fire starter. Um, yeah, it's for the fans. And, and you know, I love to compete, so it's a win-win. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because we, we oftentimes see, sometimes, you know, with, like, in your case people who are considered like the greats like the cast members obviously they um it's not every you know so often that they get to retire quote unquote on their own terms obviously like yeah. your last show obviously maybe you didn't go out the way you wanted to but yeah, in but other cases like, we see people retire the way like they want did that cross your mind at all the way you went out potentially um yeah like uh my heart wasn't into it i don't think people realize that like when you it's it's a lot of it is mental right so when the whole crowd is like blah, blah blah you're supposed to be like well screw you you know and now it's like that's how i am you know but back then it was kind of like wow and the entire uh the entire cast went over to you know my my opponent and you know was like trying to train her before the elimination and only one person came to me out of the whole cast and it was jen and she was like um yeah, good luck, and, you know, the only reason why I'm coming over here, because I was by, literally by myself, and she, and she was like, is because you did it for me when I went into my elimination, and I was like, well, thanks, <laughs> and uh, it was like, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before, and when, and so when I was doing that elimination, like, I was kind of like, heard the screaming, everyone for the other person, and not for me, and I was like, wow, like, I've never had that happen to me before. And so I was just kind of like, I don't even want to be here. And I was fighting, but I wasn't fighting, you know, because if you're not there mentally, um, you're, you're not going to get very far. A lot of it is mental. A lot mm -hmm. of it. Um, if your mind gives up, then your body does, you know, because your, your, your body can go a lot farther. Yeah. In the final, you know, like if you're, if you're still talking, you're still breathing. So just keep going, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you're not dying you still got your arms and your legs <laughs> just keep going um so yeah like a lot has changed since then that mm -hmm. was like I guess that was my mentality i felt defeated but um looking back i'm like it should have gave me motivation you know and then that's the mentality that i went in with to so the ogs thing is like it doesn't matter you know um that's actually motivation when everybody's trying to get you out and I think that's the reason why um, I really was excited to be captain. Like, there was a captain seat. Like, there was an actual, like, safety thing, like, put into this challenge that you mm -hmm. could actually have. 
you know, and who, I, who doesn't want it, you know? <laughs> and most people are like, oh, you be captain, let's do this. Like, you know, rock, paper, scissors. And I'm like, I'll be captain, it's fine, like, let's do this. Um, and I remember when Big Easy did the puzzle and he was the only one that got it correct. Um, like he was tearing up and I was almost tearing up for him because he was like so happy because it happened so perfectly. And I was, it, it was a, such a proud moment, you know? And it didn't even cross my mind that me and him would go into an elimination if we lost. But then when I watched the episode, I saw Kellyanne saying that if her and Darrell, then she'd have a good partner if they went into elimination. And I was like, huh, that never even crossed my mind, you know? <laughs> I was just like, you know? <laughs> you know? Not yeah. if we, just me and be easy. That's why I was like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Who's going to Let's go. <laughs> and then, you, you know, it dawns on you. It's like when I went skydiving, you know, I jumped out of the plane and I was like, yeah. And then I got to the ground. I'm like, what the hell did I just do? Oh, my God. I just jumped out of a plane. That's that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That's just how I work. I'm, I just, I'm, it's like almost like tunnel vision, you know? Yeah. Tunnel vision to the wind. And then, and then it happened and I was just so happy and. I mean, they didn't really show it, but man, like, if you saw close up, you would have saw, like, there was, there was some, like, welling a little bit almost coming out, and it was just a proud moment for mm -hmm. Easy. Well, I want to ask you, though, like, because obviously prior to this challenge, they had you guys uh, quarantining, and uh, everyone has their own quarantine stories. Some handled it great. They uh, loved getting away from their kids, per se, and then others, you know, maybe didn't take too kindly to what was uh your whole perspective oh my god on, uh, your um, quarantine it, experience it was the first time that i've ever quarantined and um like literally like even in la uh oh you're you, you're pausing <laughs> let me wait for you to get back good okay you're back okay. um it was the first time I ever quarantined because even in LA when we did the quarantine, uh, I was out and about sneaking to the beaches and just like, you know, I was just like, no way. And I'm like, stay at home, you know? And I was just like, um, of course, I was always follow following protocols and all that, um, for sure. But I wasn't like how everyone just went indoors and locked their doors and was just like, I'm so scared, you know? And understandable, there's a pandemic happening, but. Um, yeah, I was just living my life. So it was my first experience quarantining. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my God. But thank God, thank God, production was so good to me because my view, I could kind of see the lake, and I was just so happy. So, and the windows, you could see, you know, the street, and I was just, like, so excited. Um, so it was it was fun. Um, and, you know, we had neighbors, and, uh, you know, uh, it, the food, though, Oh, my God. I don't know if you know anything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They would give us... I wish I, I wish I took more pictures of the food that they gave us. Um, it was, like, the weirdest little cheese things with, like, some kind of... I think it was guacamole, but it was kind of weird tasting, you know? It was, like, their version of it. And I know Argentinian food is way better. Um, you're pausing again. <laughs> I'll wait for you to get back. If you get back. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're back. Yeah. <laughs> that was a long one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, the quarantine, there's so many crazy stuff that happened. Um, but it's funny because, like, I stepped outside once and security was already on it. Like, get back inside, you know. Um, I'd, we, I'd never experienced security on a challenge before. Um, you know, and there's a couple of security that I was, you know, I really, really like. Um, uh, but then, you know, some of them were really, like, security, you know. <laughs> and I was like, they're like, don't talk to security. And I'm like, why not? <laughs> I, You know, I, I kind of liked a couple of them. They were really cool. Um, and I still keep in touch um, um, as well. Um, but we literally uh, had to make the most of our quarantine and, and also, like, got real creative, really creative. 
you know, we would hand stuff to each other with like strings and like blankets and like, you know, sheets off the bed. It was kind of like shenanigans and I would send stuff over. I had the cleaning lady as my, uh, like secret operative, you know, you, I'd be like, can you send this to room, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay. <laughs> um, you know, people are asking for like different things, you know, anything from vitamins to whatever, that, you know, and, and stuff. And, you know, I send it over and, and, and we were doing, we were doing some stuff probably that we weren't supposed to be doing, but, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's only a certain amount of time in everybody's room that you got the sun right on you that you could tan. And so, like, I would literally, like, just, like, lay there, just completely naked, just like, all right, and then move over when, when the sun would move. <laughs> and, I, and I found out that other people were doing the same thing, like, following the sun in the window um, just to get a tan. And then I would use my app on my phone and just run because there was, like, a hallway and then my room, and I would run back and forth, back and forth, and my app would tell me, you know, when I reached, like, a half a mile. The most wow. boring run ever. <laughs> just back You're and forth. Busy back then. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and Lisa was like, "What are you doing up there?" Because she was below me, and I would jump rope. And I'm like, "Well, you're supposed to be up already, anyway. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's 11:30. You should be up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even nap time yet." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, All right. we, were, we were doing a lot of the different things, but the food was just like not good, and so I kept ordering food. Which they give you food, obviously they pay for, but um, I also eat every couple hours. I'm a huge eater, even though I'm tiny. Um, and so, of course, I was constantly ordering, you know, steak and mushroom risotto, and you know, <laughs> um, and we were we were all in a group chat as well. And would always send pictures of our food and then, like, you know, just be like, what the hell did you get? Why did I get this, you know? And it was like, what is this? <laughs> and then Trisha would be like, I don't want this. And, like, send it over. Oh, my <laughs> <I'll God. laughs> If it was chicken or fish, I didn't care. I'm like, I just need this protein, you know? And, uh, yeah, Trisha was definitely ordering a lot of food as well. And, uh, you know, I would always give my sweets to Katie because she was right next door. Because I... I don't know, you know, and she was like, I'll take it. And I'm like, you take it. Why do they keep giving it to me? You know, and we would ask for like ice and like, you know, Trisha would never get any ice and I'd get buckets of ice. But it's like, I don't know what was happening with room service. It was like, <laughs> I would always speak Spanish though. I think that's what helped me, you know, um, even though my Spanish was, you know, it was all right. They would always be like so proud of me, you know, because I would order completely in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I do want to uh, kind of now transition a little bit, though, before we talk about some all-star stuff. Let's bring it back a little ways. I want to hear uh, what you were up to prior to Real World Hawaii and kind of like what led you uh, onto Real World with kind of your casting story, if you will. I'll make it short because it's, okay. it's, 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 it's a long story, but basically I never watched a show before I was on it. But I got into my apartment, I was a senior at the time, and my roommate used to always watch MTV, and there was a commercial as I walked into the apartment, because the TV was left on, and it said, do you want to be part of the real world Honolulu? And I was like, what? You know, because I'm from Hawaii, and I was going to college at the time in, at Rutgers in New Jersey, and I was like, oh my God, they're going to do it in Hawaii? Like, I know what the show is, I just never watched it. You know, it's about seven strangers, you know, living in this bomb house um and i was like oh my god like i should apply and i it was like two months later and i didn't i just and i was talking to my friends about it. i'm like you remember when i saw that commercial for that and they're like yeah did you ever apply and i was like no and they're like why not and i was like i don't know and so then i uh went to the computer lab because back then we had computer labs and i went to the website uh being a Mary website and um well, MTV, then Buena Murray, and then it said, oh, uh, it, um, they're not casting anymore. It was too late for me. So I saw this little sentence that said, if you sent in a tape and you change your address, email us. So that was my end. I not only took that email address, I also looked for other email addresses around the site, all, any producer email address I could find, then I put all CC'd. And I said, I sent you a tape, I don't think you got it, but this is why... You know, I should be on the show. And I just did a two little paragraph, like, thing about me. 
Um, you know, in college, grew up in foster home. I have a girlfriend. They probably might like that. I don't know, because the whole gay thing was just so taboo back then. Um, and if I did the show, I probably would never get a job after college. I didn't care. Um, and little by, I, um, next thing you know, I get a phone call just like two days later. And Mikey Glazer told me that the real story was they already narrowed it down from like 25000 to like uh, seven for real world and uh, six, uh, no, 23,000 down to, I don't even know, 30, sorry, 30. And I became number 31 off of this email. And mm -hmm. he was erasing emails all day long. And he said he just so happened to read mine. And he just told his producer, like, we got to call her. And so that's how, that's how I got my interviews. That's how I got in. Wow. It's already late. They narrowed it down to 30. So which, you, you think it was the part about the girlfriend is what got you? Uh... No, we had to go through so many interviews after that. Oh. Okay. Like hours, hours long interviews over the phone, um, you know, and then they flew me out for a final interview. Um, th it was a, it was a process, but all the other cast members that made it already went through the process. I was, I was late. Um, by the time I flew to Blue Peter Mary to LA, all the casting was done. I came in on a Saturday and all the casting was done. I was the last, last person. Mm. So I came in by myself and other people, you know, had seen like, you know, Colin, who was, um, uh, what do you call it? I found out later that he was he was a reject, and then he became a cast member. Wow. And I had never met him because I was way later in the process. So, so, so you grew up in New Jersey? No, I grew up in Hawaii. That's why when I saw the commercial, I was like, oh, my God, like, that's, that's, that's my home. Like, <laughs> you want to do it in Honolulu? Like, oh, my God. Um, that's the only reason why I even thought to... I hid, I hid the fact that I was applying for the show because I was kind of embarrassed, you know? <laughs> I was like, if anybody finds out, like, it's a stupid show. That's why when I was at the computer lab. I was like, some of my friends would come up to me. I'm like, go away! <laughs> like, yeah, I didn't yeah. want anybody to know. I told uh, my friend Sona and my friend Kristen. And uh, Sona was helping me because they said I need to get a camera and, you know, film a, a, a tape. So I filmed my tape after. I did everything backwards. You know when people send in a tape and yeah. then you get the phone call? I actually did my tape after. Wow. Yeah. So do you feel like, um, you know, obviously the season's taking place in Hawaii, you growing up in Hawaii, do you feel like your personality would have come out more than it did, say, if, like, they threw you in, like, a location like Brooklyn, per se, or do you feel like it wouldn't have mattered where you were? I don't think it would have mattered, but at the same time, uh, I'm just happy that I was back home and I got to share it with my castmates. Mm -hmm. Because like Hawaii, if you ever have you ever been? No, but I've heard a lot about it. <laughs> okay, so uh, one of the producers that you know worked with me was uh, was here actually. We were here at the same time. She just left yesterday, but uh, the, it was their first time, and they were just like, "I love Hawaii!" And it is you could find more beautiful beaches, even though there's beautiful beaches here in other places. But this Hawaii is special. There's something about here that's very spiritual because, you know, it, it is based, is, the culture is very spiritual. Um, and it's, it's also the Aloha spirit, which um, you can't find anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. You can find nice people in great countries, you know, and, and that, but there's a certain, there's a difference. And you only know that if you come here. Um, and yeah, like everybody leaves and are glowing, you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Definitely, everybody has their, and who's never come back always has their Hawaii story, you know what I mean? And it sucks for people that say, like, one day I'll go and never go. It's like, just do it, you know? Like, I was supposed to fly out tomorrow, and I'm like, nope, nope, I don't want to go yet. <laughs> so I literally called, and, you know, I was like, and I switched my flight. And I was like, let's do this. I'm going to stay to the... And then I might even change my mind again, I don't know, because I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I love it here, and the food is great. Yeah. Um, and you know, I like to be on an adventure, but it wouldn't have mattered what season it was. But the only reason I applied was because of that commercial said it was in Honolulu. Wow. So I guess it was going to be like the real world Honolulu. And now it's like, it became obviously the road Hawaii, which obviously is better. <laughs> yeah. And I think a lot of people watched it because, uh, our first episode was like the, the press already saw it before it aired. Really? Wow. It, it was, 
they actually there was actually a huge huge movement behind it like even if you uh check out like what you know the excitement around all stars you know there's so much i mean we were me and mark were like on good morning america like people are in all these other shows you know just like promoting show and um uh, there's a lot of hype around it you know i haven't seen this kind of hype in a long time and there's a lot of excitement a lot of excitement and that's awesome you yeah you're starting to see uh, everyone coming out of the woodworks now. You even got people from the uh, main show saying that, like, when I'm done with uh, my yeah. career the main show, yeah, I want to come on to awesome. All Stars. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different vibe. It's a whole yeah. different vibe. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually like shocked when I uh, when I got back from Argentina. Um, I got Paramount Plus, and I I started kind of watching the the challenges because I, you know, I, I I didn't really watch it. I watched like a couple of the recent ones. Yeah. Um, and watching back, I was shocked at at the way that that people would talk to to people, the way they would cuss them out, and even even as partners, and yeah. like calling people bitches and and just the shit that went down. I was like, how did this happen? You know, like these people I, are such like I don't have words for it. You know, and I was like, how did how did this happen? Mm -hmm. um, like people that I saw in recent challenges that I really like had been like kind of abusive. <laughs> yeah. And verbally, very much so. And I was like, what? Like, I don't know. I was shocked. I don't know when it changed. I haven't really caught up with a lot. Of, I watched a few from back then um, after, you know, my, my season, Battle of Sexes and all that. But the ones in between, you know, I was just kind of like, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen all these challenges? Because, of course, yeah. <laughs> is, is it not shocking to you? Cause no, like, it is. But I mean, I feel like at this point, I mean, I've watched so many of them that, like, and I think fans, you know, who watch this can probably agree with me that you almost become numb to it. Oh, you know, what I'm saying. Whereas, like in your case, if you this take is like a, a point that I'm trying to make yeah. that if you go on All Star, if you if you were on All Stars in Argentina with the cast that we had, that shit would never happen. Oh, definitely not. You know no, what I mean? I, it's like yeah. like before I would even sit down, the guys would just pull out my chair for dinner without even looking. You know what I mean? Like, like, like even Arissa before she fell in the ropes, Darrell asked her, "Are you ready?" You know, <laughs> before he just yanked her ass, he didn't do that. He's like, "Are you cool? Are you good?" And then he pulled it. You know, and yeah. she was shocked. She was like, "That's so awesome!" And um, you know, people people were a lot more like just respectful. You know what I mean? I, I don't think there's a, a thing in your head where you're just like, you're going to like be partners with somebody you're on a team. And I don't know. I can't imagine that. Like calling it's really somebody cutthroat fit, now. Yeah. To hurry up, like a fucking and this and or calling somebody fat, you know, <laughs> in a final <laughs> and being like, hurry up. You like, I, I yeah. think it was it's calling somebody fat and just like, how is that helpful? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like if you were to, uh, have just someone who just casual fan, right? Put them in a room with a TV on and it's dual two, right? To have them watch it, take them to a totally different room and have it be this past season of the main show. They might not even recognize that it's the same show. I truly believe that. It was a different show. Yeah. You know, it was, and I think that's why people connect with all stars is because the casting for uh, real world and road rules was so intense. They didn't just cast people off of, other shows not to say that these people don't have personalities but we were cast with psychologists and everything and cast for our our actual personalities our actual characters yeah our actual backgrounds where we came from where we're going what we're doing now it was so intense you know if you had seen the questionnaire and that's just a part of the casting process you would have been like what <laughs> and i was filling it out like this is awesome this is crazy like there were some like pretty like intimate questions there and I was like, Oh, you wanna know? <laughs> <laughs> and and we're very open about it. Yeah. I think that's why um that's why it's a different show because like we're a different breed. We're a different generation. Oh, definitely. The, and, there's like uh, a lot of grit cool and like that. authenticity that comes with like yeah, yeah, yeah. the OG cast members, whereas mm -hmm. like some of the newer people are kind of just like maybe pulled in from maybe how many Instagram followers they have or, yeah. you know, what and model company they work yeah, for. I mean, like I'm not saying that they don't have 
uh, you know, they just have, they, we just have something different. And we also have something that's familiar to people. You know, they know us. They, they grew up with us. Yeah. At the same time, uh, you know, us coming together, there's a certain uh, chemistry that you can't find on any other kind of season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was uh, kind of funny about how you mentioned about, like, you know, you weren't initially watching it prior to, you know, signing up. There's actually you and the tech in particular, Corey from uh, the main show. I don't know if oh, you know. Corey, I met him. Yeah, yeah cool. he, uh, he said that you and tech were actually the reason why he auditioned for Real World or started really? watching. So, it's yeah, actually recently, a week ago, I think that just. So, yeah, uh, him and Jay came to uh, uh, the first viewing party uh was it the first viewing party? I think it was the premiere. Yeah, yeah, for the premiere. And I it, it was like, I actually have had been talking to Jay on um, on Instagram because I, I had watched his videos on, and I was like, this guy is hilarious. Like, he's yeah. so different, you know? And I like that. Um, I didn't really, I, I mean, I saw him on the main show, but I, I, I more wanted to meet him because of his personality that I saw on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I gotta meet this dude. Had no idea he was coming, and then he comes to to the I'm like, oh my god, you're here. <laughs> um, and then you know, um, Corey was like, I'm a huge fan of yours. What's your Instagram? And 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 Jay's like, oh, it's Ruthie World. I'm I'm the real fan. <laughs> Got a point. <laughs> and I was like, touche, touche. <laughs> but Jay, Jay and Corey, are cool. Like, I, I'm not. I, I was really happy, excited to meet them. Um, and then Johnny showed up, and I hadn't seen Johnny in a while, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm also like, you know, a big fan of, of of some cast members. Not, not a fan, but like, I, I really admire them, and I, yeah. I like personality a lot, and. You know, I was, that's why I wanted to meet Jay, because of his Instagram. I was like, because I started following him from the show, and then when I actually watched some of his stuff, I was like, this dude is different, and I like different, you know? And he's fun. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, so who did you uh, come into All Stars um, thinking that you were going to work with? Were you coming in like, you know, I'm um, going to be partnered up with these people, like we're going to be kind of like um, alliance, or are you riding it solo? No, I just wanted to see the dynamics of what was happening and just go with the flow and see what happens, you know. Um, eventually, because I was asked in my interviews, they're listening, like, oh, who are you working with? I'm like, nobody. They're like, no, you can tell us. I'm like, no, I'll let you know what I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And even then, I was like, I don't know. I can tell you, you know, like, I kind of waited till the end to kind of say what, what, was, what was happening. Um, because even there are people that I wasn't necessarily working with, but we were sharing information. Mm -hmm. It was more of a respect thing. Right. Um, it was like, hey, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, blah, blah. And they're like, hey, I trust you, blah, blah. <laughs> I was like, all right, good <laughs> Heck yeah. You know, and there was other people that I just really liked. And I never said, hey, let's be, let's look out for each other. And, and people were looking out for each other just it was just a given certain certain ones you know and you just knew you know what i mean yeah. um known each other sorry there's something else in it. that's fine no. um yeah i tried to close the slider but <laughs> it doesn't work um so yeah uh there was people that was like you know there were certain situations let's just say that came up and it was like you knew for sure then who had your back and who didn't. And uh, there was a couple people that I've known before for a very long time that um, obviously we have each other's back. Um, but I never went in like, oh, this person, this person, you know? It, every every challenge is a different dynamic. Mm -hmm. You just feel it out and you just kind of like, you know, like I, w I was accused of being playing a paranoid game, you know? And I was like, what? Like, it's not paranoid if it's true, you know? And Jemmy even and Estella even admitted that the girls were trying to get me out on the first elimination, just because. And Estella didn't understand why, because she doesn't know my reputation for being a, a freaking contender, you know. And she was like, you know, I don't fuck with Ruthie like that. And I was like, thanks, you know, because like. And then how am I paranoid? Well, we're gonna get into that in a, a later. So um, yeah. I definitely. Uh, 
I was so grateful for the captain's seat that there was one. Yeah. And to be able to be in the captain's seat was was so like, wow, thank you, you know? Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. You know, so every time I would be up there and we'd win and like chat, uh, TJ's like, you're safe. I, I, when I say thank you, I mean it. You know, I'm like, thank you. Because <laughs> it's such an opportunity. Right. And every, you know, and, and like I said, like everybody else was like, oh, I can't because we lose. And I was just like, we ain't going to lose. <laughs> and Big Easy, you know, Mark, like all my team, like even like when all the skinny people, the tiny mm -hmm. people were on the same peop uh, ice challenge. I don't know if anybody noticed that we were the smallest people in the whole cast, <laughs> but put together. <laughs> and we kind of looked at each other and were like, is this real? <laughs> we got this. And we didn't necessarily use our bodies like everybody else. We just used yeah. our brains and we made a lot of cracks without having to put a lot of people on the ice. And uh, How long did that challenge last? Because that was actually something I wanted to hear about too because I've never heard from the perspective. If it, it was the hammers, it would have lasted forever because if, if uh, it was a throwback challenge about uh, Battle Sexes too. And yeah. what people understand is that the entire team was helping mm -hmm. on, on the block of ice. Um, this was only like you know a few people on this right. block of ice, and there was two blocks of ice, mm -hmm. so um, we were gonna get hammers eventually. I think they just wanted to see the shenanigans first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was taking a while, but not that, not like oh my god, forever. But I knew the hammers were gonna come out at some point. But you gotta get the cracks, you know what I mean? Because at first they 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 were gonna give us gloves, and then they took away the gloves, mm -hmm. and then they're like, okay you know, here's the gloves, you know, and we're just like, what's the gloves for? You know, there's something else happening here. <laughs> <laughs> and then when the hammers came out, we're like, oh, yes, because there's no, it would have taken till tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> <laughs> at night it would freeze back up again, you know, because it gets cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that day was super cold. It didn't look like it. The day before we were burning and then that day was super cold. And then literally, like, I know it was funny because like after Arissa did that thing with the sun, the sun actually came out, and I got sunburned. Yeah. Wow. And it started out a cold day. And we were like, why couldn't the ice challenge be yesterday? Because yesterday was hot. Wow. Yeah. So what you're saying is Arissa has superpowers. Uh, you know, you connect with the universe. Everybody has superpowers. <laughs> I never thought but of it that. But it, it, really, it was really awesome because as, as after she did that, the sun really did come out. Wow. And it was cool because we were, I was just like, man, because like we need some kind of heat because mm -hmm. you know, this is ice and, um, and, and they didn't show it, but Tech peed on ice about 30,000 times. During the challenge? No, yeah. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> it was like every time you would do it, that's why we got cracks, you know, because Tech is the kind of person that can drink something and a few minutes later, it'll, he can pee it out. I've never met anyone like that before. Um, and he was drinking this muddy, grassy water, and the the water was clear, super clear, until Cyrus decided to come to our trough and dunk his ass in there. And all of a sudden, oh. we were like, "Cyrus, what are you doing?" Because we were putting the water in our mouth, you know, and spitting it on the ice, and it was completely clean. And Cyrus was like, "I'm so sorry." I'm like, "Why did you go back in your trough?" <laughs> <laughs> and Tech was drinking this water still. I was like, you're going to get diarrhea. He never did, but still. <laughs> Crazy. You're, you're freezing. It's on the show, like, kind of like appreciating more or getting to know more. I, I missed it. You froze. What about appreciating? Oh. Was there anybody that you had, like, either not met before or little to no knowledge of that you came out of the show and experienced, like, liking? Um, I didn't really know Kellyanne that well. You know, mm -hmm. I, 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 I've, I've known her, but I didn't really know her that well. And um, she is such a trip. She is such a trip, you know. Sometimes I want to cut her head off, and, I just, and sometimes I just want to hug her, and sometimes I can't stop laughing. Like, she is a, <laughs> you know, 
Um, and I, I, I surprisingly like ended up really like really like liking her and hanging out with her and uh you know um she's 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 that's all i'll say is she's a trip and and yes yeah, that was that was one of the people i i only got started to get to know kendall um like later i think she was kind of like a little bit closed off to people um and i think that maybe she might have categorized me to be in that category of you know um what she was closed off to and you know, I would I would actually pull her aside sometimes and have talks with her, you know. And I think she realized that, you know, um, I'm not one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I didn't really get to know her because she only had a couple people that she trusted. And it was mm -hmm. obvious. Um, yeah. You know, even when I try to help her out with certain things, she'd be like, no, let me ask yes. And I was like, okay, I offered, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's kind of like... Um, I think she was just kind of like, you know, shielding herself a little bit. I don't know if she's like shyer or whatever, but, um, you know, I just kind of left the door open and be like, hey, you know, um, when her and Jarrell got into it that one time that night um, and uh, she went upstairs to cry, it was just because he was just saying a word that made her uncomfortable and, he, and you know, she, she was really sensitive and I actually went up there and I was like, are you okay? You know, I just want you to know that, you know, you're fine and don't worry about it. Don't think too much about it, you know? Um, yeah, because, you know, just like how Janae was there for me, you know, when I got into it with Anissa, you know, it's like when you, she said, like, when you see somebody that's, like, hurting, like, you know, you just want to help. Uh, so I think that's what makes a lot of people different, regardless of alliances and, 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 and like, friendships, you know? It's like, hey, you know, I'm here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But who else? Who else? Um, I mean, obviously, like everybody else, I've known for a long time, and I really, really, I really, really like them. Um, I was really excited that Yes was there because he hadn't been on a show in so long. I actually was wondering where the hell he was and what he was doing. And so the fact that he showed up, was like, no way, that's awesome. Because uh, he was just MIA for so long. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, you know, the the OGs are like me I love you know Cyrus and and you know um uh oh and Beth this is like her best challenge ever you know what I mean oh yeah, yeah. It's without like, a doubt it's like this is this is cool you know like there was a couple times when you know I got into it Beth and I was like Beth like you know like this and we'd like kind of like have our talks and whatever but like I was so proud of her you know and um, I was just so happy that she was happy because I think this is the first challenge that she actually, even Katie was saying this is the first challenge that she didn't walk off, like, flipping people off. You know what I mean? seemed like a lot of people put their best uh, foot and face forward on this challenge. It seemed like genuinely, yeah. I think most could agree that this was their most fun show that they've arguably ever filmed. Yeah, like... Um, Battle Sex is one, and All Stars are like, wow, like amazing. Like I had such an amazing time, you know. I know there's drama and stuff like that, but like, wow, it was awesome. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I can't even explain. And the location, having that river, and the mountains didn't even look real. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, is that real? Like I thought we would have a pool. But we got something that be was better than the pool. It was a freaking river. And then if, when you go, they didn't show it, but when we went to the right, um, there was this huge, like, swimming hole right before, like, the kind of waterfall. Not really. <laughs> um, and it was awesome. And uh, we were like kids again. I mm -hmm. feel like we're at camp, you know? It's like... Yeah. It really was. Even Yes was like, he woke up, he was like, this is the first time in eight years that I've woke up and I'm like, what am I going to do today? What should I eat? Because these people have kids, you know, and a family. And mm -hmm. this is the first time they're like, what do I do with my time? You know, on days out. Like, <laughs> you know, the Terrence building a bow and arrow, you know, I'm letting him use my, like, you know, filer thing and, and we're like fishing and, you know, just being kids, arts and crafts. You got no phone, you know, no TV, and uh, you just, we're just playing. You know what I mean? And it's <laughs> fun. 
I know it's a TV show, obviously, but if you were to see behind the scenes, you know, you'd be like, wow, it's just, it's just a bunch of kids running around. <laughs> grown ups adults. Ooh, yeah. But it's fun. Mm -hmm. um, so that was special. That was really special because the location was special, you know, and otherwise we wouldn't be able to grab like bamboo sticks and make all kinds of stuff and just like create stuff. So that's why Jamaica was also very special because of the location. Right. Even for even for the wedding, like we people made stuff out of like actually I'm I'm about to make something with this, but like people made stuff out of like leaves and you know all that stuff and you know we're we're just playing. <laughs> it's real, but it's also like playing. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun. Yeah, and uh, we've gotten this far without talking about some of the dynamics here, quick. Um, <laughs> so I want to ask, obviously, and I think this is one uh, one that people want to know about too, was the Anissa situation because the way the editing worked was kind of like one minute you had Anissa saying that you're paranoid, and then the very next split second, all of a yeah, sudden, yeah. you spoke yourself. So what did we miss in between there that maybe wasn't seen to us that that little uh, altercation took place? I mean, this is something that is like like uh, me and Anissa. Like, the last time I saw her, saw her, we were both at the GLAAD Awards um, in 2019. Like, um, I don't have any ill feelings towards her. You know what I mean? But there's some times when I'm just like, you know, we're like, I don't know, cousins or sisters that fight. Like, we'll be off and on. You know what I mean? But um, this was just something that, like, I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's too long. There's a lot of happening. So a lot of people probably were confused when they saw the episode. Like, well, it just seems like it came out of nowhere. But if you know our history, you'd probably be like, no, it doesn't. Um, what what happened on the duel, too, is a part of it. But it was more for um, a lot of times, to where uh, we went, even on the plane, she called me out. And I confronted her at, at the house, even on camera, and she said she doesn't remember. She said she, she was like, I don't remember. I was drunk. Like, I don't remember saying that, but we're cool. And I was like, because she, instead of, like, working against each other, I'm like, why don't we just work together? Like, this is stupid. You know what I mean? Um, but then again, uh, that never happens. You know what I mean? It's like, I just don't, I just don't, I can't trust her. You know what I mean? Because she will say something, and then she'll, you know, do something else. And it just never changes, you know. I, I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm just saying that I wish there was a way that we could work together. And, you know, sometimes it just pisses me off because um, sometimes the way that she acts is not, not very nice. You know what I mean? And there was a lot of things that happened, um, you know, that, that isn't on camera because they have the cameras off, especially on the bus. Um, and I had to switch buses a lot of times, you know, and because I just had to be like around, you know, people that were just fun and just not drama, you know what I mean? And, uh, so a lot of things built up to that, you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. not the story. Um, but do I actively have like ill feelings towards her? No. You know, she might say some stuff about me, but I back her up on social media and I realize I don't expect her to do that for me. But it's we're family, you know, and yeah, families fight. Um, but yeah, I, I, I was I was I was I was really pissed off. And I I guess I don't I don't have a filter. <laughs> 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 and there was a lot more to that. But you know, I, I I did apologize to her at the hotel after the show. Um, mm -hmm. but I did say that I meant what I said, but I apologized for the way I went about it. So and that was my apology. <laughs> was she calling you out? Do you feel like, like, as personally or like for no, like, like calling me out, like, saying that I like, like she was, she wanted me out first. You know what I mean? Oh, like she's okay. calling me out, and she was like, she was just making these comments, and I barely had sat in my seat, and I just looked at her. I was like, and I looked at Janae, and I was like, "You're a witness. You heard that." And she was, and then Anissa was like, "Oh, that's my girl." And I'm like, "Okay, Anissa." <laughs> I just, I was like, "I'm gonna go sit down now." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we haven't even gotten to, to the challenge yet. Um, but, yeah, so we squashed it when we got to Argentina. I thought so. Um, but, you know, then I find out that, you know, things are happening and, you know, girls are getting for me. And then you find out on the after show, like, yeah, it's true. And it's like, okay, so am I paranoid? <laughs> Do you feel like that's because they're threatened by you, maybe, like, as a competitor or maybe I just mean, socially on the outskirts? Or? Yeah, I mean, it's flattering, you know, but at the same time, i got to watch my back. Um, 
So, yeah, hence the captain's seat. Thank you very much. You know, that's why on the truck thing, I was like, man, this should have been mine. But, you know, I was happy for Kellyanne. But at the same time, I talked to Nehemiah, you know, at the bar. And I was like, you know, I know all our asses are on the line. You know right. what I mean? And I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I don't know who you're going to choose. But, like, we're all in this. And that's why I freaking, like, you know, push, push my hair back put on my freaking challenge clothes and waited for what Nehemiah was going to say. <laughs> and when uh, Kendall uh, got chosen, I actually leaned down and they don't show this. I'm like, did you know this? And she said, no. But I think later on, in, on some, I don't know, I saw something on Instagram or something that she said she did know. Um, but she said no. Because we talked about it. I was like, do you know if you're going to go down? And I was like, wow, like, because we talked about it together, and I was like, it might be me. It's either me or you. I was telling her. <laughs> if it's something else, it's Anissa. And then other people were saying, well, it should be Anissa. So we, it was just between us three, you know? And it was kind of like, you know? And Janae is like, oh, no. And I'm like, Janae, you're, gonna, you're making it to the final. And she's like, am I? I'm like, trust me. You know, I, I was telling you that for the longest time, long, long before the final. I was just like, you're going to make it, don't worry. She's like, how do you know? I'm like, I know <laughs> things. <laughs> you got to trust me. <laughs> so she wasn't even, like, nobody's looking at her. Jemmy's just, you know, sliding, sliding by, like, hey. <laughs> nobody's looking at any of them. <laughs> uh, so we knew who it was between. Um, so when we saw that it was climbing, that's when I was like, all right, who is it? Who is it, you know? Um, and then he said Kendall. And I think he said Kendall because Kendall's, you know, uh, Kendall's proven herself in the eliminations and um, Kendall uh, you know they should have done they should they they should have done like a lot better than they did um, but you know Big Easy's got that genius brain you're frozen I'll wait for you to get back oh I think I'm back sorry I don't know how much of that you heard <laughs> No, yeah, you're good. Um, because I don't know if, if if you're if you're frozen, I don't know if you can hear me. It like I I can hear you, but then it kind of like breaks a little. But like I think like the recording picks it up. I just might not be hearing it. You know what I'm saying? Ah, gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I was ready, you know, because the thing is, you know what? I knew there was gonna be a double elimination because even on a guy's day. The girls were like, oh, my God, thank God, it's a guy's day. And I'm like, every girl's a girl's day, I said. <laughs> like, for me, I would just pick up my duffel bag, and I would be like, got to go to work, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then me and Latarian started saying it, you know, because he was my roommate. And I was just like, got to go to work. Let's go. Let's go get this, you know? Because <laughs> um, it is a job, you know? Yeah. It's a fun job. But <laughs> even during men's day, it was always girl's day, even if it wasn't a girl's day. Um, and there was some fun stuff too. I remember me and Kendall wrestled, <laughs> and not just me and Trishel, none of this was shown, you know. Um, there's just a lot of things, so much stuff is cut out. I think that these episodes definitely should have been longer, but uh, even the mini final was like cut in half more than in half, you know. They cut out like two whole other parts or three, there was so many other parts. It looks so easy, like on yeah. the show, you're like. Wait, you just carry that up there and then you carry that back out after the puzzle? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, 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 everyone. <laughs> they didn't take it easy on us just because we're OGs. This is a real <laughs> challenge. It's funny when people, like, you know, say, like, oh, like, you know, like, why don't you do a real challenge? I'm like, honey, this was a real challenge. <laughs> no, definitely. It, it was, you're doing exactly practically what the uh, people on the other show are doing. But it was funny because, like, when they when they called, called, like, finally for the actual show, not just for, like, availability, when they called, um, it was under the impression that it was kind of like, you know, fun throwback challenges, you know, like, you know, like Trisel said, you know. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like, you know, and I was like, yeah. But I was prepared because in my head I was like, I don't trust that. I don't think it's just going to be some fun carnival games type thing, you know, like throwbacks and, you know, this is like OGs. 
And that's why that first episode was so hilarious, you know? I mean, when Tech was talking about the old folks home, <laughs> recess at the old folks home, I was like, oh my God, that's what it was. Um, and I like that the, the editing had a lot of sense of humor, at least in the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. I think that that's missing a lot on, on, the, on the main shows um, because it's, it's also fun to watch, not just drama. It's fun to watch funny. Well, yeah, you like, well, for the fans, if they're seeing the cast members on screen having fun, them themselves are yeah. going to feel like watching it is actually fun, you know? Like, yeah. they, they don't want to see, um, you know, the cast members, like, miserable, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's why I feel like the vibe of this sh All-Star show is so successful thus far. It's really fun. Um, and also, uh, you know, we, we, we got to do, like, you know, like, what we always did on our mm -hmm. shows is throw, like, parties. Like, the yeah. night party the pajama party and katie is always the the door girl if you notice on past seasons as well <laughs> she's always that door girl like she was laughing so hard when she was even writing the invitation she's cracking herself up and i think darrell's invitation said you were barely invited Wow! because <laughs> i was making the signs for reserved and all this stuff for the for the vip tables and i'm sitting at the at the dining table just like watching Katie laugh herself, she can hardly breathe writing the invitations, you know? And I'm like, what are you writing? <laughs> and I just look over and it says, on Darrell's one, it's like, you were barely invited. And I'm like, you're stupid. <laughs> I love shit like that. Um, yeah, like, I love to laugh, but um, I, I loved having Katie on the show. Um, I've known her for a long time. I haven't, I haven't seen her in a long time, but I've known her back in the day, her and Trichelle, and um, we used to hang out all the time and take over West Hollywood, you know? And, um, but Katie is just so funny, you know, even when she's not trying to be funny. And it's, be it's better than, you know, a comedy show just to go and listen to Katie talk about whatever, you know? <laughs> I said, I said uh, 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 before, like, when I, when I was, like, you know, bored, because sometimes you just walk around and you're like, what do I do? What do I do? I'm like, and I hear Katie's voice from outside, and I and she's like talking. I'm like, I'm gonna go to Katie's room. I just want to sit there and listen, <laughs> and laugh, you know. Yeah. Um, and we had like super awesome dance parties because there was two buses, and we knew which bus to go on for the better music, mm -hmm. you know. And like one time, like we were just like dancing so hard on the bus that the bus was like shaking. Oh my and, god. Some of the crew members just had to film it because they were like, what the hell? And we were just like, ah! And then we look over at the other bus and it's like, crickets. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, like, ah! You know, like, <laughs> yeah, we just had fun, you know? And, oh, one of the, one of my favorite things, I'm not sure I, what song it was. It was like a Jodeci song. I don't know if you heard the story, but we're all waiting in line before they say go, you know, to go right. into the nation. And... I don't know what song it was, but it could have been like, come and talk to me. I really do. I don't know. But whatever song it was, I we all knew the words except I think maybe the younger cast members. I don't know. If, I don't know if uh, Janae knew it or, or Jemmy. I'm not sure. Maybe Jemmy knew it. But um, it just started. All of a sudden, it got louder and louder. And then the whole line was singing, you know? And I was like, oh, my God, this is such an OG thing. You know what I mean? Um, that would never happen on the, on the new cast, you know? I, I don't think everybody would know the words when you do a throwback song. And that's why the soundtrack is so special on, on All Stars, because there's a lot of songs that, you know, is like throwbacks. But that was a cool moment. I wish they filmed that when, when that happened, because that was so cool, you know? Mm -hmm. Just, I don't know, I'm a nerd. Little things like that. <laughs> it's all right, everybody's a little bit of a nerd, right? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I'm corny, but yeah, that was awesome. Just mm -hmm. little, there's so many things that happened that was really cool. And I'm, I'm sure that it's a lot of people's favorite challenge that they've ever done, like you mm -hmm. said. This this will be a last point we'll end on because um, I want to let you now kind of debunk this situation because a <laughs> few weeks ago, everybody, People were uh, stirring up the rumor mill a little bit with this situation between you and Nehemiah that apparently got cut out. Could you potentially shed some light on uh, what, if anything, potentially happened um, yeah. with this situation between um, you sure. and Nehemiah? Yeah. Um, so, uh, 
we were doing the um, the mini final, and there was the puzzle thing. And Hasella and Nehemiah were right next to me and Mark. And one of the producers comes up to me and like like says, "Where's he? You got to stand over here because they're cheating. Like you have to block your puzzle basically." And he he tells him like, "If you guys do that one more time, you're disqualified." And I was like, "Oh my god!" Like so I stand there, and then anyway, all this stuff goes down. It's all over. And then we get, you know, to the end, and then Nehemiah comes across, and then I ask him and Hisella, I'm like, which one of you guys were cheating? And uh, Nehemiah's like, it was me. And I was like, oh, really? And I don't know if people know this, but Nehemiah's like Mr. Spiritual, Mr. Buddha, you know? And I was like, oh, really? And he didn't think it was a big deal. He's like, it's a game. You know what I mean? And then, and then he said that he didn't cheat. I'm like, you just admitted that you did. So... It wasn't really a big deal, but I was just kind of like, well, if you're so spiritual, like, why are you cheating? It says specifically in the rules that if you cheat, you'll get disqualified. Mm-hmm. They even discuss this thing all every day where you just have to raise your hand that you agree before we even go to a challenge. Right. Like, they even read us stuff before we even go to the bar, and everybody raises their hand that they understand, you know? And <laughs> cheating is something that's not allowed. Mm-hmm. Um, but even then, just integrity-wise, I was like, oh, really? Like, freaking spiritual, whatever. And that's why it's an inside joke when I call him Plastic Buddha. Because <laughs> we into a fight, and I was like, fuck you, Plastic Buddha. Like, and that's why it's, it's like a lot of people don't know. That's why when, you know, even on the live and stuff or whatever, I, I just or I see him, I just say, what's up, Plastic Buddha? Now it's like an affectionate term, you know what I mean? Back then, we got into a fight, and security broke it up, but we didn't actually, like, you know, hit each other. But I think that's what people are saying. Yeah. Um, hit somebody well, on a show, you're out. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> so no, so cr- the crazy rumor is true. Right? This, we'll do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I actually told them, you know, I, I called them up and I was like, dude, if like any of this stuff, you know, happens and there's like some crazy shit going on or whatever, let's just do a live. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, Jemmy was in between us. Jemmy was like, you can't hit a man. I was like, thanks for the memo, Jemmy. Because <laughs> she was in between us. And I was like, you know, and she was like, hey, you know, and security was like this. And uh, yeah, I rode home with security. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then like, when we got home, I went to go cook in the kitchen because I'm always cooking, um, especially at night. And me and I was in the kitchen and I was just like, eh, I don't care. <laughs> but at the moment, I was like, Plastic Buddha. I was like, you fucking cheated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he, and and Derek was like behind me, like Tasmanian devil, like, you know. You know how guys love to do that stuff when somebody's yelling at somebody? Yeah. And they like to go behind, you know, and you're like, you can be my backup dancer anytime, Derek, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's not it's not like a it, that, that's what it was. It was because I was overly pissed off about him cheating. And finally, then I was over it. <laughs> finally put that little rumor to bed. It got also, up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I love that plastic Buddha thing. And I was like, dude, if you freaking make money off of that shit, you owe me 10%. You gotta, put a hashtag, you gotta put a hashtag in front of that and stick it on a shirt. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, dude, like, you're gonna make some money off of that merchandise? Like, that, that, you better give me, like, some percentage. <laughs> 35 cents every time I purchase. <laughs> yeah, I, t- I told him that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's a good idea. But it's in air, so. Yeah. But, it, but I told him. If that happens, mm-hmm. you better make the, that merchandise and you owe me. Because <laughs> I'm the one who called you that. <laughs> and to, well, right now it's funny. It's just funny, you know, and I actually I actually like it. I think he should call himself Plastic Buddha. Hey, I mean, he might. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Yeah. Um, but thank you again for uh, taking the time to do this with me today. Um, you know, I had a ton of fun chatting with you. Yeah, um, I'm sorry that I uh I'm on vacation in Hawaii, you know, as you know, and it's like I I I was like I can't cancel him, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Like even when I change plans and I'm just like, Oh, can we do it next week? Oh, can we do it on Monday or Tuesday? Can we and I'm like, Can we do it on Thursday? And I'm like, Final, promise, final. <laughs> 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 Let's do it. 
But uh, uh, thank you again. I'll let, I'll let you know when this is up. And uh, good luck in this uh, second part of the final. Everyone's going to be uh, rooting for you. So I'm rooting for you. And uh, good luck. Thanks again. All right. Have a you safe travel. All right. Bye.